Monitoring the state and the results of our tests can become a real headache when we start to scale and deploy our apps into Kubernetes. TestCube is a Kubernetes native testing framework for testers, developers, and DevOps professionals that not only lets you orchestrate, run, and display your test and test results for your apps running in a Kubernetes environment, but also supports asynchronous monitoring with Slack notifications. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly integrate TestCube with Slack so you can start getting notifications on your Kubernetes tests when you start them, whether they pass or fail, or test cancellations through abortions or timeouts. To get started, you'll need to add the TestCube Slack bot to your workspace. You can find the link in the video description and our documentation. Once you add the TestCube bot, you'll be triggered by a confirmation and your unique Slack token. Make sure you copy this and keep it in a safe spot. Now we'll head over to our terminal and edit our values file with our Slack token. To edit the file in place, you can type in the following command. This will bring us to our values.yaml file where we'll simply need to spot the Slack token field and input the value we just copied. Now we save and exit. Let's head over to our Slack app and we can verify that the test queue bot is there, but we'll need to place it in a channel so it can start sending us messages. Now that everything is set up, we can run our first test. And as you can see, the test queue bot notifies us as soon as our test execution has started. As is, the test queue bot will notify you of test and test suite starts, endings, successes, failures, abortions, and timeouts. You can modify the events you get notified as well as the structure of the messages you want to receive. Now that our test has passed, we can see that test cube lets us know that zero out of our three specs failed. And that's it. You're all set up to receive Slack notifications for your tests in Kubernetes.